going on everyone i wanted to take this part of the video to talk through with you guys the app that i'm building i know i've done some voiceover but i want to actually show you my thought process behind it and what this app is going to become i'm going to document the whole process for you guys so you can watch along learn how to build a business from start this is not just an app this is going to be the biggest cloud platform in the world i'm going to be building this from scratch and i'm going to show you guys exactly how i'm doing it from the technologies that i'm using the platforms i'm building it on everything start to finish and i'm going to be filming one video every single week and uploading it on this youtube channel so you guys can keep track of the progress from this startup at the moment the app is called the cloud engineer course.com it's because i already had this domain that i bought a while back if you guys know of a better name then do let me know in the comment section down below but the whole idea for this app it's going to be a place where you guys can firstly learn about the cloud you can build projects on the cloud and you can also find jobs so this is going to be that all-in-one platform to learn to build 
and also get hired. What I'm going to show you guys through this series, we're going to show you how I'm building the web app. I'm going to show you how we're building the infrastructure on AWS, architecture, pipelines, uh, you know, security, user creation, along with marketing, you know, project management, payments, the whole thing. And I'm so excited to be able to document this for you guys. I'm not gonna hide anything. I'm just gonna show you exactly what I'm building it, how I'm building it. Don't ask me about code quality and all this kind of stuff. To be honest, I don't really care. For the MVP, I'm just trying to build something as soon as possible and get it launched. For the ones that purchased my Cloud Engineer Handbook, this is going to be for you guys. I sent out an email this week sharing that I'm going to build a platform rather than just sending out an ebook in PDF format. My Cloud Engineer Handbook is going to be hosted on this application so you guys can actually read the handbook and learn about cloud engineering from the website, from the platform itself. I'm also going to have a community page where you guys can share your successes and your wins, and also just share what you're learning with all cloud enthusiasts around the world. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys the, some of the tools and technologies that we're going to use to build the actual platform. So firstly, we're going to build the application using next.js. Next.js is an application tool or framework that you can use to build server-side applications. I have never used Next.js ever, but obviously I have used TypeScript and I've used React, so using Next.js will be exciting, will be new, and it'll be something that I can show with you guys and learn as I go along. And then the actual platform that we're gonna deploy our application to is of course going to be none other than AWS Cloud. I don't know yet what services I'm going to use to deploy my Next.js application on. You know, some people saying use Lambda and use a serverless backend. Not sure about that. Um, maybe we put it into containers such as ECS. Uh, hosting, it can be Lambda, it could be ECS, it can be amplify but we'll get back to that probably in the next videos and as you guys saw already i've started and created my next.js app already i've pushed it into github and in the next video i'm going to actually start building the application for now i'm going to show you guys a tour an architecture and the technologies that we're going to use for this application if you guys want to be the first ones to use my platform go to cloudengineercourse.com because this is going to be the main that we're going to use for the app sign in enter your email and sign up and i'll keep a track of you you guys that are interested in using the course. For now, you can just enter and get a free cloud guide. This is not the cloud engineer guide that I'm selling on Gumroad. This is a light version of the guide, but I'm also going to be using the people that sign up here as my first users on the platform. So we've got the Next.js app, we're gonna deploy onto AWS. I'm not sure where I'm going to actually host it on, but we are also going to use CI CD pipelines and that will basically deploy our code. So we have GitHub here, that's where our code is gonna be stored. And then we're going to trigger it and deploy using CI CD. This is going to be a GitHub action. And then this is going to be code pipeline, which is the AWS pipeline. And yep, that is the pipeline itself. So this will be for A, the application, and also B, for our infrastructure. So both application and infrastructure will have their own separated independent pipeline. Application pipeline, infra pipeline. The infrastructure, so the AWS part, will be built using CDK. So my whole application and the platform is going to be with TypeScript. So the front end, back end is going to be TypeScript, the cloud infrastructure, structure also going to be in TypeScript. Okay, so we have got our pipeline, we've got the application, and we've got our hosting. But we also need to think about storage. So the kind of data that we're going to be storing is we're going to have user data, content data, i.e. the content of the Cloud Engineer Handbook and the guide and the course itself. Content, we're going to have, and the content is, I guess, split into uh, text, images, and videos. Uh... Uh, 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 text, images, and videos. So that is our data. We've got user data, i.e. this user has signed up. We need to create an account for them. And then we also need a way to view people's profiles. So we want profile page as well. So I guess this would come down under user data. So profile. And this is where you guys can just create your account, tell us where you're from, where you work, what your job is, and also, um, 
what you're trying to achieve. We're also going to have more data and that's going to be the community tab. This way you guys, like I said, can share your successes. Again, I'm just listing out all the different features that I'm going to be building, but initially it's just going to be the application, hosting it along with the content for my actual cloud engineer guy. The type of AWS service that we're going to be using will depend on the type of data that we're storing. So it can be either structured data or unstructured data. So if it's structured data, we can use something like an SQL database like RDS. If it's non-structured and then we can use a no SQL database like DynamoDB. Now being a startup, I don't want to spend thousands and thousands of pounds on data storage and cloud costs. I want it to be as cost effective as possible. So our platform has to be cheap to run. Because I know right now I'm working for a client and their bills are like 30, 40K. Um, DynoDB is costing an absolute fortune. So I really want it to be as cost effective as possible. So I'm going to be conscious of that. I want to run this as cheaply as possible. And you might be thinking, why am I building this platform from scratch when I can use a video course platform like Kajabi or Teachable. I think you should always own what you do. And if you have the skills to do it, I think long-term it'll pay me better dividends. I think long-term it'll be better for me if I own my own platform and I'm not relying on the mercy of these other companies. So I basically build something from scratch and I own it end to end. Of course, I am still working with AWS and, and kind of at the mercy of AWS, but I don't see that being a problem. Um, but yeah, I'd rather just pay and have my own platform rather than having hosted it by someone else. And then long term, as I think of new features, I can build that in. Whereas if I'm using something like Kajabi, then, you know, I kind of have to use what they have. Whereas if I have my own platform, I can just add whatever I want to. It will take a lot more time. But I think long term, it makes more sense to own what I do. Okay, so that is the data part. And then we're also going to have payments uh, because obviously this is not going to be free. And this will be payment integration. And I'm probably going to use Stripe. And I think it's pretty straightforward to set up payments with Stripe. I think they've made it really easy, actually. I think it's just like a simple iframe that I load into my website that integrates my payment system. Perfect. So that's our application, our data layer, our infrastructure, our pipeline, and the payment system. Cool. So that was like an overview of what I'm building and how I'm building it, the technologies that I'm going to use. In the next video, we're actually going to start building our next JS application. We're going to build the landing page and then you guys can also sign up and we'll deploy it into AWS. As I said, probably in my last day in the life vlog, I don't want these vlogs to just be me pretending to work. I actually want to make sure that these vlogs give you guys a value and you're learning something from watching these videos. So that's why I'm not going to just show you me sitting here pretending to do work or you know, me walking around and stuff. I actually want these to be of a value. They're teaching you something. You're learning something. Maybe it's something about the cloud. Or maybe it's architecture. Maybe it's pipelines. That's why these vlogs are going to be me building this business from the ground up. And I'm going to be documenting it. I'm going to be showing you guys how to build it, what technologies I'm using from start to finish. So it's actually something exciting. It's actually something fun. It's something that you guys can see. It's something that you guys can see and join me in this journey and hopefully take inspiration for you guys to also go and learn and then go and build your own businesses. I'm going to make at least one video a week showing you guys what I've been building throughout the week. This video was all filmed in one day, but in the next one, I'm going to be working on this project every single day. And every day I'm going to be documenting what I'm building and then putting that together into one single video and uploading that onto the YouTube channel. So you can have a weekly vlog, Day in Life for Cloud Engineer, and I'm gonna cover my whole startup series and what I've built throughout the week in that one video. And don't forget, drop a comment down below what you want me to cover. We could also just cover some technical concepts throughout the video, separate from the startup that I'm building. Make sure you also check out my newsletter. I'm going to be documenting, sharing project updates on there as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.